Hi everyone, welcome to another Procreate tutorial. This is the drawing that we will be drawing in today's video. So if you are new here, I mainly post Procreate tutorials. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and subscribe. And before we get started, the only thing you will need to do is download the color palette, which is in the description below. And once you have that, go ahead and just open the file and it'll automatically import all the colors into Procreate so that you can follow along using the same colors if you would like. Obviously, if you want to mix up the colors, feel free to do so, but take a second and go and grab that and then come back and we will get into it. Okay, so we'll start off with the canvas dimensions. The dimensions that we're using today are 10 inches by 10 inches at 300 dpi. The color profile is the second one on the RGB color profile list. And by the end of the video, we end up using 14 layers. So make sure you have that many available. If you do not, you can layer your DPI or lower your DPI to get more layers. And this is the color palette that we'll be using. It has a ton of colors. A lot of the ones on the bottom row are for our final like menu items, the little different ice creams that we're gonna make. So it's a little overwhelming, but don't you worry about it. We are gonna start on layer one. We're gonna grab this first color on the first row of the color palette. Click the selection tool, click on rectangle, click on color fill to turn that on. And we are just gonna draw a rectangular shape all the way across the canvas. And we wanna leave a good amount of room, a little bit of room on the left and the right for the headlights and taillights, and then some room on the top and bottom for the ice cream cone and the tires. But it should look a little bit like this. Okay, so the next step is we are gonna be on the same layer. We're gonna grab the selection tool, click on freehand and turn off color fill. And what we're gonna do is kind of make a little cutout on the front end here to make the windshield and front end of the truck. So starting about a quarter from the right side, so a quarter to the left of the right side at the top above the truck, make a dot. And then imagine the windshield, so down and to the right just a little bit, make another dot and then down into the right a little bit more, make another dot outside of the truck, and then go up, make a dot and another dot to connect that shape, and then click the arrow tool and drag it off the screen. So this is kind of the shape that we cut out of the front. So this is like our windshield and our little front end. Okay, so now we're gonna go to our layers menu, click on the layer, click on alpha lock, go to the color palette, select the second color on the top row, and then under the brushes menu, under calligraphy, find the monoline brush, and we're gonna max that out at 100% and draw some lines on the truck. So let's draw a line across the top, hold the pen down at the end to make it a perfect line, and then touch your finger on the screen to make it perfectly horizontal. So we're gonna do two of those just towards the top of the truck to add a little bit of the detail. And then we're gonna make a crease for the door. So go to the color palette, select the third color on the top row, and then about halfway through the truck, make a vertical line. So a line all the way down, hold your pen down, and then touch the screen to make it perfectly vertical. And then do the same thing where the windshield meets the front end, where another crease would be where the door would open. So those are the lines that we're gonna draw there. And then we're gonna draw a little door handle. So on the door here, let's make it just a small line Again, hold it down and then touch your finger to the screen to make it perfectly horizontal. And then do the same thing at the very front of the truck for the grill. We're gonna make two little lines towards the bottom going off the front of the truck. Try to line them up as best as you can. But that is kind of what we have for now. So take some time to do this, add any other details if you'd like. We're gonna add the windows next. So go into the layers menu, add a new layer on top of this one and then go to the color palette and select the fourth color on the top row and then go back to our selection tool, rectangle and turn on color fill again. And we're just gonna draw a small kind of vertical-ish rectangle here to be the window on our door. So go ahead and draw that above the door handle and then go to our layers menu, make a duplicate. So slide to the left and click duplicate. And then with the top one selected, click on the arrow, turn on freeform, turn on snapping, and drag this to the left and make sure these blue lines are all lit up so that you can tell it's perfectly in line. And then with freeform turned on, we're just gonna drag one side over so that it's a little bit larger of a rectangle, a little bit wider. And we kind of want to line this up around the middle area of this left side of our truck, but we want to leave plenty of room below it for our menu. So go ahead and do that. To say layer space, we're gonna to go to the layers menu and we are going to use our two fingers to pinch these two layers together so that they're all in the same layer. 
Go back to our color palette, select the third color on the top row again, and then click on our selection tool again, rectangle and color fill turned on, and we're just gonna draw a small, skinny, horizontal rectangle right under this window, the bigger one that we made. So this is obviously our little order window on our ice cream truck. Okay, so moving right along here, we're gonna add our wheels. So go to our layers menu, add a new layer on top of everything. Go to the color menu and select this fifth color on the top row, this dark gray, and then same brush that we've been using. We are gonna draw a circle, hold your pen down so it turns into a perfect shape and then touch your finger on the screen to make it a perfect circle and then fill it in. Then go back to the color palette and select the last color on the top row, this lighter gray, and we're gonna make another circle inside this one, smaller and you know, click edit shape at the top so that you can adjust it so it's perfectly in the middle. You know, resize it if you'd like and then fill it in, but that is all on the same layer. Okay, so now we're gonna kind of place the wheels. So we are gonna go into the layers when you drag this below the truck layer so that it's kind of hidden. And then we are going to, you know, if you need to resize it a little, make sure uniform's turned on and you can resize it and then move it up so that only about half of it is showing and then make a duplicate of it and make sure snapping and magnetics are turned on and drag it to the left and keep it in line as best you can. And so now we have the two wheels, one in front and one in back. Pinch those two layers together so they're on the same layer. We're on the same layer. We are gonna go into our color palette and select this first color on the second row, this yellow color. Stick with our monoline brush and we're gonna draw the headlights. So this is, again, behind the truck. So we're gonna draw kind of an ovular shape, a vertical oval. Click on edit shape to adjust it. So it's kind of up and down, but only half of it is showing in the front and then fill that in just like this. And then we're gonna do a similar thing. So grab the second color on the second line, the red color, and we're gonna do the same thing in the back with some smaller shapes, show about half of them. And we're gonna draw two. So one towards the bottom and then one right above that. So these are our two little tail lights. Again, adjust the shapes if needed. They don't have to be perfectly, you know, the same. You won't really be able to tell. So that is that layer. Now we're gonna continue. So let's add a new layer on top of all of these on the layer menu. So above the window layer here, and we're gonna grab the second color on the first row of the color palette, same monoline brush. And we are gonna start drawing the little canopy here. So we are gonna draw a circle, so a small circle, Hold down your pen so it turns into a perfect shape and then touch your finger on the screen to make it a perfect circle and then fill it in. And it doesn't quite matter where you drew it, we will end up adjusting these and moving them around later, but go ahead and go to the layer menu, make a duplicate of this one, make sure snapping and magnetics are turned on and drag it to the right a little bit. So it's still lined up and there's no spacing in between. We want them to overlap just a teeny bit on the end and then go into the layer menu and drag these two together, make a duplicate of the two and then do the same thing, drag it over to the right Make sure they overlap just a little. And then you're gonna do that one more time with four. So again, snap them all together and make a duplicate. So then, and then drag them over, keep them in line. So now snap those all together and we now have eight little circular, you know, chain here. The arrow tool selected, make sure uniform is turned on and then you can resize these. So what we wanna do is have it about halfway up the window and we want one circle showing on each side. So we want it to kind of overlap the window by one circle on each side, line that up as best as you can. And then on that same layer with all those circles, we are gonna use our monoline brush again and draw a line straight up into the right a little bit from this left side. Hold your finger on the screen to make it at a perfect angle. Again, just tilt it towards the right a little bit and then let it go. And then do the same thing on the left side. So draw a line up into the left a little and touch your finger on the screen so that it kind of snaps to that similar angle on the other side. Click edit shape to adjust it if needed and then draw a line straight across the top. Touch your finger on the screen to make it a perfectly horizontal line and then adjust it again if needed so that it matches up on each side and then fill that in. So this is kind of our little canopy shape. So take your time to do this and then we will continue. Next, go to the layers menu, click on this layer, turn on alpha lock, and then go to our color palette and select this fifth color on the second row, this pinkish color. And with that same brush that we used before, we're gonna draw some stripes throughout this. So we're gonna start on the second circle and draw a line straight up and down. Hold your line down at the end so it turns perfectly straight. Touch your finger on the screen so it turns perfectly vertical. 
and then do the same thing on the other side of the circle and then fill it in in between. So we're gonna do this for every other circle. So as you can see, I'm just kind of starting where the circles meet at the bottom and drawing a line on each side so that it lines up kind of perfectly with that little line at the bottom where the circles come together and then on the other side and then fill it in so that we, we get these stripes all the way across. And then, so there will be four of each color. So there's four white sections and four pink sections. So this last one at the very end, we're just gonna draw the one line up and down where that last circle starts and then fill in the entire right side here to finish it off. So I hope that makes sense. Go ahead and get that done. Okay, so in order to make room for the ice cream on top, we're gonna go to the layers menu, right swipe on all of our layers and then click the arrow tool and drag everything down a little bit so that we have a little bit more room up top. Then let's go back to our layers menu and add a new layer on top of our wheels, but underneath our main ice cream truck shape. And using that same pink color we were just using and the same brush, we're gonna draw a circular shape. So draw a circle, hold down your pen and then touch your finger to the screen to make it a perfect circle and then fill that in. And that is gonna be towards the front of our ice cream truck and a little bit behind it. So we're gonna see maybe, you know, the top two thirds of the circle that we drew. Okay, then we're gonna grab the selection tool, have rectangle turned on, color fill turned off, and then we're gonna just gonna draw a really thin vertical rectangular shape on the left side of our little circle that we just drew, and then click the arrow tool and drag it off the screen so that we're left with a shape like this. Then on the layers menu, add a new layer above this one, and we're just gonna draw another small circle on this side here, the left side where we just did that cutout. Draw a smaller circle and fill it in. Go to the layer menu, make a duplicate of it. Click on the arrow tool, drag it down while it stays in line with snapping and magnetics turned on. And make another duplicate and do the same thing. So we now have three, and then this last one should be hidden a little bit behind our ice cream truck. So again, make sure they're just kind of connected on the bottom, but you can see that like scallop shape. Then go to the layers menu and drag those three smaller circles together make a duplicate of that layer, click on the bottom one, click on the color palette menu, select the last color on the top row, this gray color, and then drag and drop that onto that bottom copy of the shapes. You won't be able to see it because it's behind, but then click on the arrow tool and drag it to the right just a smidge so that you can see a little bit of the gray. Click on the N on that layer and then drag that up to multiply and then click on the layer again, click on clipping mask, and now you will see we have kind of a little shadow here so we can see the definition of those circles. Then click on the layer menu again and drag those three layers together. So the shadow layer and the smaller circles and the bigger pink circle. So that's all one shape. And let's add a new layer above that and then drag it below it. And we're gonna draw the cone now. So let's go to our color palette and select this third color on the second row here same brush and everything and we're just going to turn our canvas a little bit and we're going to start on the left side of this ice cream layer that we just made draw a straight line hold it down so it turns into a perfectly straight line and we're just going to draw it angled like this towards the ice cream truck and then draw behind the ice cream truck and behind the pink ice cream to connect the shape and then fill it in Okay, then we're gonna go back to the layers menu, click on this layer we just made and turn on alpha lock, go to the color palette and select the fourth color on the last row and we're gonna drop the size of our brush down to about 50. And we're gonna draw some diagonal lines this way on the ice cream cone and then we're gonna turn and draw them the opposite way to kind of make this grid pattern on our ice cream cone. I'm not holding the lines down or anything, I'm just quickly drawing them until they look good. Okay, so this is looking good. We are going to move on to the menu now, which is, you know, most of our last steps. So we're going to go to our layers menu, add a new layer on top of everything, and then go to our color palette, select the second color on the top row, the white color, click on our selection tool again, rectangle and color fill turned on again, and we're just going to draw a white rectangle underneath our window here. So if you need to adjust your window at all, you can do that with your layers. Um, but we just need it to be about this size. We're gonna click on the arrow tool, turn on freeform, and then I'm just gonna drag this one up a little bit so that it kind of fills in that whole space there. And that is our menu board. Now we're gonna add some text to 
So click on the gear icon in the upper left, click on the add section and click add text. And then click on the arrow tool right away and we're gonna drag this down towards our menu board. Click on your layer menu again and click on that text layer and click edit text. Then double click the text to highlight it, click on the color palette and select this fifth color on the second row to change the text to that color. And then click on this menu at the bottom to bring up your font and size choices and whatnot. So what we're gonna do is turn on this this capital thing on the bottom right here. This makes all your letters capital automatically. And I like this font we're on, this Ina 01 font, and I changed it to light. And then we're gonna change the size down quite a bit to all oh, about 20. And then we're gonna turn the kerning up to at least 100, maybe a little more in the end. But feel free to mess around with the fonts and the colors and, you know, anything like that if you want to change that up. But we're going to bring up our keyboard here and we are going to type a dash and then the word menu and then another dash at the end. And it went all back to lowercase, so I'm going to double click it again, click on this to the font to bring up this whole menu again and, and turn on this, you know, capital capital letter thing here on the bottom right. So now that's, you know, how I want it to look, but again, it's a little too big. So I'm gonna make sure I go back and edit text again. And I think we're just gonna turn the size down a little bit more and it's a little thin too. So we're gonna change this. So again, just mess around with the fonts as you'd like, but we're gonna do regular. The text is always so tricky. I always just hate, you know, trying to get these menus up and stuff. They really need to maybe work on that or maybe I do, <laughs> but oh, then I made the kerning wrong. So we're gonna change the size down a little bit, up the kerning to 140 to 150. Maybe even, I guess we end up at 170 here. And that's just kind of how I want it to look all the way across the top, but I wanna leave plenty of room below it for the little ice cream items that we're gonna make, but then drag it till it looks about centered and we are good to go with the text. So now we're gonna start adding our little ice cream items to the menu. So we're gonna go to the layers menu, add a new layer on top of this one, go make sure we're on our monoline brush and the size that we're at is about and before we get started, I just kind of wanted to mention like I'm making five little ice cream items here on my menu. And these are all five items that I really like from an ice cream truck. I live in the US. I know ice cream treats vary, you know, in different countries and maybe you have your own favorites. So what we're doing though is we're just using really simple shapes to kind of create these menus, you know, from far away, they're going to look good. They don't need to be super detailed. So we're just gonna go through and very simply make these. So I just wanted to mention that before we get started. But again, we are on this layer that we just created and we are gonna go to our color palette and I'm gonna start with this fourth color on the second row. And again, using our monoline brush. And the first thing I'm gonna do is draw a popsicle. So I'm just gonna draw a perfectly vertical line. So draw a line, hold it down until it turns into a perfectly straight line, hopefully, and then touch the screen to make it perfectly vertical. So that's gonna be our stick. I'm gonna go to the color palette and select this first purple color on the last row. I'm gonna draw a circular shape above the popsicle stick, fill that in, and then I'm gonna draw a line, a vertical line on each side. Click edit shape and I'm gonna kind of line this up a little bit better. And then I'm gonna draw the same thing on the other side. Again, touch your finger on the screen to make it perfectly vertical. And then after that, I'm gonna draw a line across the bottom over the popsicle stick horizontally to connect the shape and then fill that in. And that's the basic shape. And then we're gonna add some details. So let's go to the menu, select this last purple color on the last row, the darker one. And we're just gonna draw some little vertical lines inside the popsicle to give it a little bit more shape. Okay, so there's that one. So that's all on its own layer. And then, you know, we can move it around if we need to, but we'll reorganize at the end again. So let's add a new layer on top of this one. And the second thing that I'm gonna draw is an ice cream sandwich. So let's go to the color palette and select the third color on the second row. And I'm gonna draw first a straight up and down line, a straight horizontal line, kind of click edit and line that up a little better. Another one on the bottom. 
again, touch your finger on the screen to make your lines either, you know, perfectly horizontal or perfectly vertical. After you make the line, you got to hold down your pen down to make sure it turns into a line first. And then we are going to make the line to connect it here on the end and then fill it in. So now that it's filled in, it's a little too fat. I want it to be a little bit skinnier. So I am going to click the arrow tool here, turn on freeform, and then just use one of the top or bottom sections to kind of just make it a little skinnier. Click on the layers menu, touch this layer and turn on alpha lock, and then go into our color palette and select the first color on the last row. This brown color, back to our monoline brush, and we're gonna draw a straight horizontal line across the top. And then I'll click edit shape to just kind of drag it. I want it to go all the way off each side. Do the same thing on the bottom, but again, click edit shape so that you can move it up and down a little bit if you want to show a little bit more of the dark brown color. So again, from far away, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't need that much detail. It looks like an ice cream sandwich. So let's add a new layer and then I'm going to go to the color menu and add, get this last color on the top row, this gray color. And we are going to draw a rocket pop. So I make two vertical lines here, kind of, you know, with some space in between them. Pretty tall lines. And then I'm going to draw another one in the middle that's even a little bit taller on each side. So it goes a little bit further on the bottom and a lot further on the top. Connect the bottom little sections, almost like in a triangular shape so that you, you know, kind of have it look triangular at the bottom and then connect the top as well into one big triangle. Again, just using very basic like lines and shapes. And then we are gonna fill the rest of the shape in so it's one big gray shape. But that is just how we're gonna start it. So then let's go to the layer menu, click on this layer and click alpha lock again. Go back to our color palette, select the third color on the last row, this red color. And we're going to draw a straight horizontal line across the top and then fill in the rest of the top. Go back to our color palette and select our... Uh, let's make that a little bit bigger. Then we're going to go back to our color palette and select this last blue color on the second row. Or on the bottom row, sorry. And then we are going to fill in the bottom section of the rocket pop. And now that that's done, we're going to change the angle a little. So we are, you know, it's a little big, but then we're going to... Click on the arrow tool, use this green little lever at the top to kind of change the angle so it looks more angled like a rocket would. Okay, next we're gonna add a new layer. Let's go back to our color palette and select this last color on the top row, the gray again. Same brush, and we're gonna make another stick like we did with our popsicle, so a straight vertical line. Then let's go back to our color palette and select the second color on the last row, and I'm going to make a oval shape, a horizontal oval shape at the bottom right over the popsicle stick and then i'm going to do the same thing towards the top a little ways above oops it turned into a line let's do that again and then i'm going to use a selection tool grab this part and reposition it so it's a little bit more straight above the other one that i made so I'm just going to kind of line it up and then drag it upwards so that they're pretty in line. And then we are going to go back to our brush and we are going to draw some vertical lines to connect these two shapes. So if you don't know what this is, this is a push pop. This is my favorite ice cream treat. I mean, I like a lot of ice cream treats. So my video skipped forward, but basically I just made another line on the other side and then filled that shape in. But with that, we are going to go back to our layer menu, click on this layer with the push pop, click on alpha lock, and then go back to our, our color palette and select the third color on the last row, the darker orange, same brush. And we're just going to draw a curved line towards the top here and then fill that in. And that is going to make it look a little more like a push pop. And then we're gonna add a new layer in our layer menu. And the last thing we're gonna do, we're gonna grab the third color on the second row here. And we're gonna draw a triangular shape, like a cone. You know, edit the shape so that you can kind of adjust the little lines that you made if you need to. And then let's fill that in, connect it and fill it in. And then we're gonna go to our color palette, grab the First color on the last row and we're going to draw a circular shape it's not going to be a perfect circle it's going to be more oval shaped you know like kind of squatty but almost a circle and then we are going to fill that in 
and then we're gonna go back to our you know make sure the whole thing fills in there so the whole circle's filled in then we're gonna go back to our color palette select the fourth color on the second row and make some little dots all over the top and this is a drumstick I mean, honestly, I like a lot of ice cream treats, so it's a very difficult decision. I love drumsticks, but now we're basically just going to take each layer and kind of resize them if necessary, move them around. You know, the Rocket Pop is really close to the ice cream sandwich. There's a little more room on the right side over here. So just kind of reorganize them if necessary. You know, you can even switch up the order of them, but, you know, take your time, make some different ice cream treats if you want to. Again, just using pretty simple shapes and you know, whatever colors you need to use. That is how you can really personalize it. And for the very last step, I realized I didn't add the sprinkles to the ice cream on top. So let's add a new layer on top of that pink ice cream layer that we made. Go to our color palette, select this white color, the second one on the top row. And using the monoline brush that we were just using, we're just gonna draw some straight lines. So draw a line, hold your pen down at the end so it turns into a line. They don't need to face any, you know, certain direction, but just they're kind of just randomly facing different directions all across the little ice cream part here. You can add that if you want. If you liked the way it looked without it, that is totally fine too. But that will complete the entire drawing now. So I hope you had fun. If you did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more tutorials if you haven't subscribed yet. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And if you want to share your drawing on Instagram, I would love to see how it turned out. So go ahead and post it and then tag me in it so that I can check it out. And while you're there, go ahead and give me a follow if you want to see what I'm working on next. Thanks so much for watching. Yay!